Is your gas stove causing asthma? It's possible, and I'm going to tell you how it's possible at the end of this video. I'm sure you've seen the latest headlines that gas stoves are a hidden cause of asthma in children. The Washington Post says that gas stove pollution causes 12.7% of childhood asthma. Causes, not may cause. The Daily Mail says one in eight childhood asthma cases are linked to gas stoves, not maybe linked. And CNN Business says a federal, federal agency of the U.S. government is considering banning your gas stove. So what are we to believe? There's a new research article that's been published recently that caused all of this gassy disturbance. We're going to go over that paper, and then at the end of this video, I'll tell you what you can do if you'd like to keep your gas stove. So here's a copy of the paper that was published in the International Journal of Environmental Research and Public Health. And you see the listed authors there. Now this paper is based on research that was a modeling research. There was no new research done by the authors of this paper. They basically looked at previously done research and curiously, they just focused on one number from one research paper and ignored all of the other papers. Now, whether gas stoves cause or increase the risk of asthma or asthma exacerbations is something that all doctors are concerned about. And indeed, researchers have been looking at this question for decades. Uh, I have had many pediatric asthma patients over the years, and I've actually looked into this in years past wondering if gas stoves played a part. When you look at all the research on this topic in totality, uh, the result is a firm equivocation. Some studies show that there is an effect of gas stoves. Some show that there is not. Some studies show that there's an effect in boys, but not in girls. Many of these studies don't even take into account whether anybody smokes in the home or if there are pets in the home. So these studies weren't properly weighted based on other risk factors that are known to increase the risk of asthma or asthma flare-ups. The question you should be asking yourself is why did these authors act like that this is cut and dried? That you, if you have a gas stove, your children are absolutely 12% more likely to develop asthma or have asthma flare-ups. Uh, and it, you, when you really dig into this paper and start looking at the authors, you might start to get a, an understanding of why they were so emphatic that gas stoves are bad. Uh, if you've ever heard of the Rocky Mountain Institute, the, this is a group of people who believe that none of us should be using fossil fuels at all. And the lead author of this study is actually an employee of the Rocky Mountain Institute and the Rocky Mountain Institute actually partially funded this study. So, I'm sure you think that's perfectly fine and there's no conflict of interest there at all, right? Uh, but basically these researchers that authored this paper took one number from one of the studies that did show that cooking with natural gas could cause an increased risk of asthma or asthma exacerbations, and then they modeled that number and said, well, if there are this many children in the United States and there are this many gas stoves, then this is how much asthma the gas stoves are causing. But they ignored all of the other research that showed either no difference whatsoever or only a tiny difference. Now that you know this about the study and you look back at those headlines, you're like, well, first of all, this study can't show any kind of causation whatsoever because there, it's not a randomized controlled trial in humans. Secondly, they only they cherry picked which studies they looked at and they ignored many others that didn't show any association whatsoever. Then you remember the conflict of interest of the lead author and the funding of this paper. And then you might start to think maybe they had a preconceived notion and maybe they have a bigger goal than protecting your children from asthma. And if you think that, I, I think you're probably right. I think these authors do believe that gas stove, any kind of fossil fuel is dangerous and we should get it out of our lives to save the planet and to save the children and to save the fluffy pets. Uh, but the problem is, is there's a lot of research on both sides of this issue, but 
if you look at just the headlines, you wouldn't think that at all, would you? You would think, no, this is cut and dry. This is settled. Gas stoves, we need to rip out the gas stove. And so now let's talk about how you can know if your gas stove is causing asthma or not. Now, it's absolutely true that if you cook with gas or really any combustible thing or even electric, when you cook, you are producing chemicals. You could be producing uh, nitrogen dioxide. You could be producing carbon monoxide. You could be producing formaldehyde. If you burn any food on any stove, you're going to be releasing noxious chemicals. And so gas stoves do have a known emissions that come from them. And the way that you ensure that your stove is not one of the stoves that could be causing asthma is to make sure that number one, your stove is in good working order and doesn't have any gas leaks, which I think most of us would do. Number two is that you have a, a hood over your stove that sucks up the fumes as you cook, as almost everyone does. And then uh, number three, if you don't have a hood over your gas stove, then you should crack a window in the kitchen while you're cooking. These three simple common step things will make your gas stove just as safe as an electric stove or any other method of cooking. So this kind of leaves us all with a lesson that I think we all need to learn. You cannot just read the headlines from many major publications and think that that is true. You have to do your own research, a certain degree of due diligence. If there's a study talked about in the, in the newspaper or the website article, you need to look that paper up and you need to scroll all the way to the bottom of that paper and look for conflicts of interest. And if you find those, then the findings in that paper are at best suspect and perhaps just blatantly slanted in favor of what the funding agency wants the authors to find in their paper. So if your gas stove is relatively new or if it's been recently serviced and you have a hood over your stove or you crack a window in the kitchen when you're cooking on your gas stove, they are perfectly safe and fine. And we don't need any government agencies coming to our house in the middle of the night and ripping out our gas stoves. Hope this video helped. This is Dr. Barry. I'll see you next time.